Hello everyone, this is David from Automotive Press. As you know, I love all things to do with Toyota 4Runner. In fact, I own the 4Runner Limited right here in magnetic gray and I use it all the time. But one of the things that I really enjoy talking about is the future of the Toyota 4Runner, which is going to be the sixth generation most likely to come out end of next year as a 2024 model year. But one of the biggest questions people are asking me is about the engine and the powertrain. Because we are speculating that Toyota will drop the 4-liter V6 engine that's in current 4Runner and instead putting a 2.4-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that is currently in the 2022 Lexus NX. And people are asking how could Toyota take away a V6 engine and put a turbocharged engine into this large vehicle and make it work. Well, if you are in doubt about this, just take a look at what Toyota is doing for 2023 because they dropped the V6 engine from the Highlander and replaced it with the exact same 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine we're talking about right now. And not only that, Lexus also introduced the all new 2023 Lexus RX and guess what? It no longer have V6 engine as well. And that one is also uh, showcasing 2.4 liter turbocharged four. But interesting enough, the new Lexus RX is also having a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine that is now connected with the hybrid system. So that is a new combination that has not been seen before, which gives us pretty good direction in terms of what Toyota or Lexus are planning to do down the road which is to eliminate pretty well all V6 engine and replace them with the four cylinder engines. Now it doesn't mean the exact same story will carry over to the new Toyota 4Runner or the new Tacoma and that's where the speculation begins to get interesting. So let's get into that a little bit more. Now let me cover two things today. One is about a new speculation that I'm hearing which is that maybe Toyota will in fact still offer a V6 engine in the next generation of 4Runner and secondly, let me talk about the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine in terms of power, torque, and compare to the current 4 liter to see if it really works with next generation 4Runner. Let's get right into it. Welcome back. So the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that there is a new rumor out there saying that the next generation 4Runner may retain the V6 engine, at least as an optional equipment. Now, I have a real doubt about that because it's unlikely the Toyota will offer both the four-cylinder engine and the V6 in the same lineup in the same way that Tanja dropped the V8 engine and it's only offering twin turbo V6. So what does that mean? Well, it could be that the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine is offered in the base model of the next generation 4Runner and maybe the more upgraded versions such as the Limited or maybe even the new Platinum might have the 2.4 liter turbocharged four with a hybrid mechanism. And perhaps they will retain the four liter V6 engine for the TRD Pro version of the 4Runner. So those are some possibilities. I still think Toyota will not offer three types of engines. So I don't think this news is uh, newsworthy in a sense that uh, the rumor is probably just a rumor. But you never know, maybe Toyota is learning from the Tundra situation where people are pretty upset that the V8 engine is not offered and maybe they don't want to take a chance with a Tacoma or the uh, 4Runner because the, the volume is much higher. So we will have to wait and see whether or not the 4 liter V6 engine is indeed offered as an option or as part of a TRD Pro when the new version comes out. But back to the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine, in terms of whether or not the horsepower and the torque is capable of managing this 4Runner. Well, there are a few things you need to keep in mind. First of all, as Toyota brings up a new version of the models, they always go through a huge weight loss as we have witnessed in the Lexus LX and many other models, they've all gone through a major, major downsizing in terms of weight because of extensive use in aluminum. So I expect that the new 4Runner the sixth generation version will lose at least three to 400 pounds, maybe even upwards of 500 pounds. And if the 4Runner does lose that kind of weight, it will actually bring the weight of the new 4Runner down to uh, almost the same weight as a Highlander and not too far away from the Lexus NX weight. And in that case, it kind of makes sense that the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine from the Lexus NX will be sufficient to power the 4Runner. So let's go through the actual numbers and let me walk you through exactly what I think 
will happen in terms of the actual power and the torque of the new engine and whether or not it's going to be sufficient for the new 4Runner. So what does it actually mean to have the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine in the 4Runner? Well, let's look at the actual numbers. So currently, the 2022 4Runner has a 4 liter V6 engine that has 270 horsepower and 278 pound foot of torque and the vehicle weighs 6300 pounds so it's a pretty heavy SUV obviously. What about the Highlander which also is going from V6 engine to a turbocharged 4 which was announced recently? Well the new 2023 Highlander has 265 horsepower and 309 pound foot of torque from its newly minted 2.4 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine and uh, it uh, weighs 5930 pounds, so almost 6,000 pounds. So not all that different from 4Runner actually. Now let's look at Lexus NX350, which is the first vehicle to use the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine. That engine has 275 horsepower and 317 pounds foot of torque in the Lexus because it uses premium fuel, or at least the premium fuel is recommended. So that's the difference in terms of power and torque between the Highlander engine and the Lexus NX engine. Just a little bit more power, a little bit more torque. And the Lexus NX weighs 5,200 pounds, so quite a bit lighter than either the Highlander or the 4Runner. But now imagine the 4Runner, the new version that is, going through a weight loss clinic and it will lose let's say four to five hundred pound which means that it will likely be fifty eight hundred to fifty nine hundred pound after the conversion process when the new model comes out so that makes it almost exactly the same weight as the current uh, highlander at fifty nine hundred as well and because toyota decided to take away the v6 engine from the 2023 highlander and replace it with a 2.4 liter turbocharged engine we can now see that the same equation or conversion can happen for the foreigner because the weight of the current highlander and the weight of the upcoming 2024 toyota foreigner should be about the same and so obviously if the 2.4 turbo 4 can power the current highlander it can definitely power the new 4Runner. So that's one of the possibilities. Now it's also possible that Toyota will tune and calibrate the engine differently for the 4Runner because it's really a truck-based vehicle. So maybe it could produce more torque at the expense of uh, horsepower, or it could possibly improve both the power and the torque for the new 4Runner. So um, if you look at the numbers alone, in terms of weight, in terms of power and torque, specifically the horsepower per pound, or the torque amount per pound, you can see that the new 4Runner with the 2.4 turbo will actually work just fine. Having said that, if the new rumor is true and we are indeed getting the 4 liter V6 engine, at least for the TRD Pro version, well then the whole situation changes again because we're back to the old fashioned V6 engine, which has about the same horsepower as a 2.4 turbo, but has way less torque. And that would work for, I guess, for TRD Pro in terms of the feel and to maintain that traditional V6 drive feel. But I really think that Toyota will not do that. I actually think it will be the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder as a baseline. And then the 2.4 liter turbocharged engine with the hybrid system, which will bump up both the power and torque for the TRD Pro or perhaps a flagship model such as a Limited. And perhaps they will even introduce a Platinum for that new 4Runner version. Now the interesting thing is that if you look at the recently introduced Lexus RX which now have a flagship model called the 500H, that one has the uh, 2.4 liter turbocharged engine combined with a hybrid system to produce 367 horsepower and whopping 406 pound foot of torque. So if this mechanism or this system goes into the new 2024 4Runner TRD Pro, let's say, then it has substantially more power and torque than any of the engines we mentioned so far. Uh, so that's a little bit uh, an interesting story because if we do get this engine with the 2.4 turbo with a hybrid, then the new TRD Pro will be a killer machine because it's going to have so much more power and torque than either the current 4 liter V6 engine or the uh, 2.4 liter turbocharged 4 without the hybrid system. So those are some of the interesting discussion in terms of upcoming 4Runner. So what do you guys think? You might not be happy with the choice that Toyota is making in terms of putting the 2.4 liter turbocharged 4 in the next generation 4Runner, 
but the numbers speak for themselves and they obviously work. So let me know in the comments below what do you think Toda should do and perhaps they will take some of those things into account. So that's it for now folks. A lot more about the 2024 Forerunner coming up your way. But for now, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching my videos.